Hello and Assalamu Alaikum guys, welcome to this tutorial. Today we are going to be learning about range, active cell and cells. So let us get started. What is a range? If you want to select a specific cell using VBA, you use range, you use cell. And if that cell is this active cell, for example this, if I want to do with something with this active cell, I call it active cell and I do something with that. Enough with the theory, let's go to Alt F11 and we have a procedure or a module prepared. Let us suppose I want to select A1. What I'm going to do, I'm going to say range A1 in double quote dot select. So what will happen? A1 will get selected. Let us suppose I want to select a couple of cells which are like here, 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 out here. I don't care. Oh, well, that was nice. So a1, B15, C10, or A20. These are cells which I want to select. I'm going to just run this. And A1, C10, uh, B15, and A20 have been selected. What? Let us suppose that I have a range of cells. Like this is the range of cells which is equals rand between and contains two from 200 to 1000 values and I name this range as my box and say okay so this is my box this range is called my box and if I want to change its background color what will I do I will basically go in here I'm gonna say range this that is called my box dot interior dot color equals vb let's say green what will happen when i run this the cells a1 a b15 c10 and a10 will be selected and the range which is called my box will have interior color vb green but the strange thing is you don't need to select this when this is selected but this will change. You don't need to select something to change its value. We will see this right now. If I press F8 and then again, it will go through the program step by step. And again, it's going to select all the cells which are in here. And again, it's going to change its background color. Background color of my box, the range, my box. So the range, my box has green color. Okay, we have seen this. Now what? Now let us see the shortcut for range. Well, writing range like this big is always a hassle. Well, what you do? Basically what you do, you say opening square bracket, closing square bracket, and in between you write your values. Like I want to select um, B15 and I'm going to say dot select. And you can select it. B15 has been selected. Well, there are some advantages and disadvantages of using this thing. When you use the range using this method, you don't have the italicense list. What is the italicense list? This is control space. You get this one. So you, if you say range, then you can access your range like A1. Then dot value. As you can see, this list gives us a lot of things which we can't even remember so it is a good thing but with that kind of range you don't reuse it with this you don't get italicense list i will give you a proof if i just say value equals welcome now if i come in here and try accessing the italicense list dot and control space control space it doesn't give me italicens list after dot it doesn't give me italicens list and that is bad well it has some disadvantages but it is really useful so let us learn about this a little bit more well let us suppose i want to select a1 a15 a20 so that is the same method you can select it and you can run it and it's going to be run it's going to go first, it's going to select B15, then it's going to select A1, A15, and A20. And that is really good. You can still select your range using this. You can say my box. And let's just see. You select your my box. The range or the name named range which is called my box. Now I'm going to 
something called cells. What is cells? Well, using cells, you can access your spreadsheet with rows and columns. You can select your rows and select your columns, and that's all. Let us suppose I want to select row one and column one. Dot select, and if I run this, row one and column one is selected. If I say cells, row two, column fifth. Uh, column 3 let us suppose and dot but in here also italicens list doesn't appear so that is also again a big disadvantage but these are useful and you say like interior dot color equals vb uh, vb red now if i run this the C that would be third column second row will have the red color what if I want to select the entire spreadsheet or entire sheet what do I do well basically you say cells dot select every cell in this sheet selected okay selected not a big problem what if I want to say that I want to like uh, remove everything which is in this sheet I can say dot clear well you get intelligence list when you use it as cells and let us clear everything everything has been cleared and now we know that we can give our range that would be this my range my books dot value equals LL tutorials and then you can see that those values that box has LL tutorials if you add something with this you have the that value let us suppose cells row 20 and column is like 2 let's say its value is green let this is its value and when you add value you add double double quote around it now this is green isn't it cool this is really cool and then lastly we have active cell let us suppose I want to change active cell color I will say active cell dot interior dot color equals VB red so what will happen when I run this the active cell that is B1 will have color red as you can see this is the active this was the active cell so it has red color but what if let's do something fun let me copy this and go to sheet one that is this sheet and I want to say I want to select the sheet worksheet and I want to just paste it in here so let us see what happens okay uh, I select this I go up whichever select whichever cell I go to will change its color isn't it cool come on this is cool isn't it okay okay guys thank you very much for watching and this was whole I will meet you in the next tutorial bye bye